Thailand, the Anti-Corruption Commission summoned Prime Minister Yingluck Shinawat to hear charges of negligence. The charges stem from the government rice subsidy program. On Thursday, her supporters blocked access and chain-locked one of the gates to the agency's headquarters. So the Prime Minister's legal representatives met commission members elsewhere. CCTV's Martin Lowe joins us from Bangkok. And Martin, how is she reacting to the anti-corruption hearing? Well, the Anti-Corruption Commission insists that it does have the evidence to back up its charges against Prime Minister Yingluck. Now, this rice subsidy scheme is massively important here. It may be the number one issue. It's loved by the rice farmers in the north of the country because it's the payments have brought them out of poverty. But it's despised by the Bangkok elite here in the capital who say their taxes pay for it. And it's nothing more than a, a stunt by the government to buy rural votes. Now, uh, the, 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 the Anti-Corruption Commission says that this massive scheme which costs Thailand around $10 billion a year to run, is riddled with corruption. And it says Prime Minister Yingluck knew about that corruption, but did nothing to stop it, either in her role as Prime Minister or also as Chairwoman of the National Rice Policy Committee. Now, uh, Ms. Yingluck has denied any wrongdoing. She says, yes, as Prime Minister, she is responsible for the policy of having a rice subsidy, but she's not involved in the day-to-day -day running. That's delegated to junior officials. Now, the Anti-Corruption Commission have given her two weeks' grace to send her replies to their so-called evidence against her. But this is significant because even though the whole process may take some time yet, if in two weeks' time the Commission decides that uh, Prime Minister Yingluck's uh, answers aren't sufficient in their view, they can insist that she steps down from her role in politics as Prime Minister. Now, of course, uh, opponents uh, of the uh, supporters of the government say that this is just one more assault on the Prime Minister by uh, an establishment body that, although independent, is largely supportive of the anti-government protest side. Uh, now, the Prime Minister has also been challenged to a TV debate with the protest leader. What's the reaction to that? Yes, protest leader Sutep Toksaban has uh, come forward and he's challenged Prime Minister Yingluck to uh, debate the issues with him, but he's laid down conditions. He says it's got to be just one-on-one -on -one and it has to be televised live on every Thai TV network so that, in his words, the people can hear the full argument. Now, the government side think that this is more of a, a stunt and a gimmick than a serious attempt to open negotiations. So they've given it a bit of a cautious response. They've said they'll consider the idea if first Sutep calls up all the protests and second, he allows the interrupted elections here to be completed unhindered. Uh, now, um, many people think that this will simply d dissolve into a shouting match otherwise and so it's very unlikely to go ahead but it is the first step towards any talks between the two sides. Uh, meanwhile, uh, here in Bangkok, it's, it's looking ever more like a city under siege. For some time now, we've had barricades across roads and armed guards roaming protest sites. But now, because of the escalating violence over the past week or so, the army has stepped in. They have now set up more than 170 sandbagged checkpoints around the city. And they're stopping people, asking them what their business is, and they're checking for weapons. This is an effort, the army says, not to take sides, but to try to limit the violence, which is threatening everybody here. All right, Martin Lowe, live for some Bangkok. Thanks so much.